Hello everybody, welcome to back to this is your host Normandy Junction and we're on to another episode of building the Titanic or, or the Olympic. In my case it's the Olympic here on the right. So today we are doing frames 62 to 74. So as I make my way to the bow, we're doing the bow, we're starting with the bow and you have to duplicate the actions which I'm going to do on the stern because the frames are exactly the same as in like the last part. But the actual structure of the ship is going to be changing as we move closer towards the bow and the stern. You'll see a slightly inclined going inwards. Okay, so I hope you've all been well. Then let's get started. So we're now going to be on a frame number 62. And once again, it's exactly the same going from 62 to 74 with the keel. Row at the bottom, row in the middle, row at the top. And then it is six blocks going up. A row going right across and another one two blocks up with you know, a gap of two and then another row at the top. Uh, but there will always be, as always, a gap of three even in between each frame. Okay, so let's let's go. So 62, we start once again with 18. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay. Let's double check that. So that's a 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and a yellow concrete at the end. Using smooth stone, by the way, as usual. So that's 18, and we're going above. It's 11. 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And the next row above that will be a 9. So it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And you see, look, we're going one in wood. And same again as, as before as in the last part, it's five rows of three. So that's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so that's five rows of three. Okay, next start is, is we need a three lots of two. So that's one, two, three. And at the top, we'll put a sea lantern down on the inside one here. And while we're here, we'll join up the inside frames as well. Uh, excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold today. It's uh, a bit of a rainy and cold couple of days in Blackpool. Which was a bit funny, because last week it was scorching hot. But what's going on with the weather in the world these days? There we go. Okay, so after that, we need to do... Comes to the corner here. We're going to do a two. Take away the, the block here, so it's just a single. And we're going up four. So that's one already. So that's one, two, three, four. Okay. And then we do like a two. Take away the block. That's another four. Two, three, four. And then we do the same again. But it's a three. One, two, three. Same again. But we're doing it as another three. And final one, which will be a four. Two, three, four. And we do a sea lantern on the outside there. Okay. So as you can see there from that perspective we are starting going to inward so it's a four four three three four and now with the smooth stone you need to go hang on a second two across like that and then going upwards we just go straight to the top of the boat deck will be below a deck top <laughs> top of b deck below a deck by the way you saying that Showing straight up now. Here we go. So as before, you just continue straight up there. Okay. I'll do a jump cut towards the end of all these frames and join them all up together because there's no point doing it for you know for the length of the video because you just be bored. <laughs> so there you go. So that is frame 62 complete. We're now on to 63. So now we need to do 18 again. So I just drag it right across so it's lined up. Seven, what, 17 and the you know, concrete 18 and the one above it is 11 Ooh, bit one there. okay and then a nine again okay and once again five rows of three so that's one two three four Five. Uh, let's might as well join up the frame here now. Straight 
across. Okay, and then another three rows of two. So that's one, two, three. And replace the interior one with a sea lantern. Or oh, anything you want. You don't have to really follow my guide. I mean, the smooth stone, I just find it easy to work with. And sea lanterns is a good point of reference as well. It just helps me. But you can do, do it this in any way you want. Okay, so after completing that one, we're now going to go up 4, 4, 3, 3, and 4 again. So once again, do a 2. Take away that one. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4. 2 again. 1, 2, 3, 4. And again, there's a 3. And again, another 3. And again, top 1, 4. Sea Lantern at the top. Okay, but this time... We're going to go above the sea lantern. We're going up one and two across. So it's one and then a two. And then you just go straight up to the boat deck. Okay. I'd like to give a warm welcome to all my new subscribers. I think I'm all above 190 now, which is great. Thank you very much. And if you continue to like my videos, please give me another subscribe and, and a like to any newcomers as well. It does help the channel. So as you can see what we've done there on frame number 63. You see we're starting another curve going upwards. It's exactly the same process here. It's all going to bend towards the centre tip of the bow. Or the stern. Okay, so that is frame number 63 done. Now we're on to 64. Okay, here we go. So once again, it's 18 at the bottom. And then it is 11. And then we have a 9. Put it right across. Oh, excuse me. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There we go. No, hang on a minute. That is an 8. Silly me. And then another 5 rows of 3. So that's 1. Two, three, four, five. Okay, I might as well join up the frame. There we go, completed, and another three rows of two. One, two, three. There we go, and replace the interior next to the two block. Place it in one so it all lines up with the other sea lanterns here. So we're getting a nice row going. Okay, so let's join up these blocks here. Okay, once again, do a two, take away the inner one, and once again, four, four, three, three, four. Sounds like a football formation <laughs> with too many players. Okay, so hopefully that's a four, two, get rid of that one, and another four, do a two, move that block. Three, two, move that block. Three, two, block. Four. See, so I see we're still flush here. Sea lantern towards the side. Okay, this time we are going up two and two across. So that's one, two, one, two. You see, there's a pattern developing here. And then we'll take this frame right to the top. look at the calendar now we're coming into April 2022 so it will be the 110th anniversary of the Titanic sinking I have to do a special video for that date as well don't know what we'll do but see what happens right so we're now on to frame a number 65 Just check the time here because I say once again I only get 10 minutes recording time on an Xbox okay I'm running out of, out of time here so I'm just going to do a jump cut so I can start fresh be back in a minute Okay, we're back, folks. Uh, okay, let's move on. So we're up to frame number 65. So let's get going. So, once again, it's 18. So let's pull this across. 18. Well, 17. And once again, the yellow concrete. Next row again, which will be 11. And one at the top is still 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There we go. Line it up nicely. Once again, guys, 5 rows of 3. Sorry, guys and girls as well. There you go, five rows of three. And just line it up with the center and the center keel. There we 
Junko joined up nicely, and now three rows of two. One, two, three, and replace the inner one with the C man tip. Oh, like I say again, anything you like. Okay. I mean, I am debating um, what design to do the Olympic in. I think I might go to before it got retired in 1935 and do a green, the green, the famous green stand grand staircase. It's terrible. Anyway. Soldiering on, so we're doing it once again, a four, four, three, three, four. So we'll do a two, remove that one, one, two, three, four. Two at the top, move that one, one, two, three, four. Now it's three. One, two, three. To a two at the top. Two, three, two at the top, move. One, two, three, four. And when you're doing your fourth, see lantern on the outside. Okay, now going upwards after here, we're gonna go three up this time. One, two, three, and then do a two at the top, and then go straight up to the boat deck. Okay. Also, I'm just doing this quickly now, but as you go in between each deck, put your sea lantern in. It's just a reference, and then you have to join them up. You know, like, basically, like this. That's what we've been doing for the entire build. And get it straight to the top. There we go. Right, on to the next one. Let's fly all the way down here. Okay, we're now on to 66. So starting again from 66, 18 again. Okay, yellow concrete. And then it is 11. Yellow concrete, well, 10 and 1. <laughs> and then this time. We're going to do an eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now all the yellow sections here are all going to be the same length. Well, this one now is an eight. So we now need to do five rows of three again. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and join it up. There we go, and then do another three lots of two. So that's one, two, three, two, one, remove. Sea lantern, and join it up from the center. Straight across. Now next stage, say we do a two again, but remove the interior one. And same again, guys, we're doing four, three, three. Sorry, four, four, three, three, four. Four, four, three, three, four. So that's four, Four, do a two, remove. Three, do a two, remove. Three, do a two, two, remove. And then four, sea lantern on the inside. So, like you see here, we are starting to go inwards. Okay, now, next stage here is after you do the two. Here we go, probably a sea lantern. Right, we're going to go. So, I'll start, I'll start again. We're going to go up one and across two. So that's one, two. Okay. And then next stage, we're going to go three up. Two, three. There you go. And then. So I'm just going to go backtrack myself, guys. I think I lost a little track here on my notes. Okay, so it's Sea Lantern, then up one, up one, two across, then a three. Or straight to, yes, apologies guys. Alright, so from this Sea Lantern, okay, we go up one, across two, then up three. So that's one, two, three. And then join up here. So, as you see on here, it's like the angle going up again. So, that's one, two, three, one, two, three. So, apologies, like, guys, I got a little sidetracked. Okay, so we need to go straight to the top of the boat deck again. As fast as I can. And two out again, and then straight to the top of the boat deck. Top A deck. There we go. Okay, so I just want to redo that one. So that's 
So you do a four, four, three, three, four, sea lantern, up two, oh sorry, up one, two out, then up three, then one out, straight to the top. We'll get there. Okay, so we're now on to number, I'll get my notes again, 67. And once again, we're going out 18. Okay. Oh, you concrete at the end. And then 11. And then 8 and the then once again, 8. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then we'll do 5 lots of 3 again. So that's 1, 2, 3, Five. Join up from the centre here, from the centre of the keel. There we go. And then three lots of two again. One, two, three. Move the sea lantern and join up from the centre again. I think I double checked how many uh, frames we got. So I think it's 158 from the centre to the bow. And the same again to the stern. So, still a way to go, guys, but gradually it'll be a lot quicker because the frames are now the length from the centre to the outer is starting to go down. So, we will get there. So, that's, so once again, 4, 4, 3, 3, 4. So, that's 1, 2, 3, 4. Come out 2. Take away that one. 4. Come out 2. And then it's a 3. Take away that one. Three. Come out two, and then a four. Get your sea lantern or anything you want, whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay, and then we're going up two and out two. There we go. So it matches up like that. So it's up two and out two, and we're going up three, two, three, and then out one. And there we go. As you can see there. And once again, we go straight to the top of the boat deck. So I say, keep your comments coming, guys. I'd love to hear from you all to see what you think of the build. Any questions or anything like that, I feel free to answer when I can. So like I said, this is done in my spare time. As you can see, uh, family life and working life takes priority. There we go. So straight to the top of the boat deck. That's that done. Okay. Now we're on to frame 68. Check my notes again. Check time. Okay, I'll be quick as can. So we're going out 18. Concrete down. Okay, 11 again. 11. Okay, then it's 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 5, lots of 3. And then, well, draw it up for the centre here. And then 3, lots of 2. That's one, two, three. But replace the inner one with the sea lantern. And once again, join up from the centre. Okay, I think I'm running out of time again on a 10 minute gap. <laughs> again. Right, I'll be, be right back. Okay, back again, guys. Let's crack on. Right, so after placing the sea lantern down, we do a two again, take away the in one one. So now we're going to do the 4, 4, 3, 3, 4 again. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 across, get rid of that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 across, get rid of that. 2, 3, 2 across, get rid of that. 2, 3, 2 across, get rid of that one. That's 1, 2, 3, 4. Sea lantern on the outside. Okay, now after that one, we're going to go 3 up and 2 across. So that's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. As you can see here, we're going higher. Okay, so after three up and two across, you need to go up another three. One, two, three. And put one on the outside. And go straight back to the boat, top of the boat deck again. There we go. As I say, I'll add the decks later as a jump cut. Because as I say, it's just the same as before. Join them all up to the centre of the keel. Right, so let's go back down. Once again, it's 18. This is frame number 69. So just could do another 18. Then 11. Just make sure it's all flush. And then do your six. Oh, sorry, apologize, the eight. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then three lots of three. Okay, and then three lots of two. One, two, three. And replace the innards with the sea lantern and join up from the center. Like I say, guys, I'm just showing you how to do the skeletal structure of the ship as well. I'll help you with the boiler rooms and the funnels, uh, like key areas like this grand staircase. But like I say, to do the whole ship, again, it would take a lot of time. So like I say, I'm still building the Titanic here. But this is just generally to help you how I design the skeletal structure of the ship. And, you know, I'll, it would be great to see your own projects as well. I mean, if you want to find me a link or send me a message, please do so. I'd love to see your designs or like, takes on it. Okay, so after that one, we're going to do the 44334 four, three, four again. Okay, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4. 2, 3, 4. And then a 3. And then a 3. And then a 4. And put your sea lantern on the outside. Okay, and, ne and that's up next stage. On number 69, we're going to go. Here we go, so let me double check. Yeah, we're going to go up three and out two. One, two, three, and out by two. Okay, and then three. Three, one out. And we're we'll going straight to the top of the boat deck. So it's exactly the same as frame number 68. Because the curve stops there. We've got to the max height of that curve down there. So two out, go straight to the bottom of the boat deck. So it's all flush and level. There you go. Right. We've got five more frames to go. And this one is number 70. Okay, so once again, it's 18 out. So this is 70. Okay, so 18 out. 11 across. Okay, in the next stage, this one is six. So it's two shorter than the one four. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, then you have to do your f five rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. Join it up from the center there. And then three lots of two. One, two. Two, three. Place the inner with the sea lantern. I say there's a bit of a big gap there. I see it's another jump up, but it does make sense. Bear with me. There we go. Join that one up. So once again, we do a two out. Get rid of the center one. Okay. And once again, it's four, four, three, three, four. So that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then a four. Two, three, four. Put your sea lantern on the outside. There you go. So like I say, yeah, it's a bit of a big gap going inwards. It doesn't look quite right, but trust me, it does. Okay, so now after putting the sea lantern down, you're going up three and out two. So that's one, two, three, then out two. Okay, and then you're going up three. One, two, three one of the eye outside the block and you're going straight up to the boat deck now this is where the promenade deck and the boat deck are starting to in incline inwards because they say this is towards pretty much nearly the start of behind the bow behind sorry behind the bridge but when you get to the top and when it's level it's still one in and you go straight to the top there you go so it looks like that okay so we head down back to the bottom now Actually, I just want to double check everything, guys, as well, to make sure it is absolutely fine. Sorry, I went a bit too far down there. Because I think I have missed some notes on frame 70. It always causes me a lot of trouble, this frame 70. Because that doesn't look quite right. It's all right at the bottom. But it's about halfway up. I think we do need to go a bit more inwards. So after the sea lantern, let's double check everything. So it's a four. Yeah, sorry, it's up three. Cross two, up three, 
And then we're going up a four. Ah, we have gone wrong, guys. I do apologize. We need to go out a little bit more. So let me get rid of this line. I do apologize. Uh, I'm not perfect. Make mistakes. As we all do. We learn from them. So let's get rid of that. Go back down to this one. Okay, so we start again. So after the sea lantern, you go up. Three. Two across. Then three up. And then on the outside, you do four. One, two, three, four. All right? Now, you put another sea lantern down. At the top here. Okay. And then on the outside... You go up 11. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then you put your sea lantern on top of it. There you go. So it's like that. And then, as you, see, as you can see with the other sea lanterns there, it's all flush. And then you put one on the outside. And once again, you go straight to the top. I want to double check. So I just want to come back a sec, guys. Just bear with me one second, please. I want to double check this. They got it right. So how are it supposed to be? So I'm going to go through it all again with you. So it is, this is frame number 70. So we're going up four, four, three, four. Sorry, two lots of three, four, 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 three, three, four. Sea lantern to the right. You go up three. And then it's out two. And then you go up three again. And then you go up four. The sea lantern goes on top. Okay? Because it lines up with the others. Just behind that row there. Okay? I'll put another one here for reference to make it a little easier. There you go. And then above the sea lantern, you need to go up 11. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And the sea lantern goes to the right. And after that, you go straight to the top of the boat deck. Quickly go up here, which can go faster. There we go. As you can see, the promenade is starting to go inwards here. So it took several attempts. I needed a cup of tea as well. Right, so that is frame 70, so we're now on to 71. Okay, so let's get your smooth stone again. Start at the bottom. And you go out by 18 again. There we go a brick at the end and then smooth stone again it is 11 now this time instead of six because that was just a single six there it is a five one two three four five and then five lots of three again so that's one two three four just check the time five and then from the center close it inwards go and then three lots of two and replace the inner one any color you like for me it's a sea lantern and join it up from the center again there we go okay so once again we are going doing the four four three three four so that's two there remove one two. start again one two three start again four not my day today two three four and do the three, two across, and do the three, two across. It's one, two, three, four. You see, lantern goes on the outside, and this time you go up by three, and then it's two across, and then three up again, because you're matching up to the same one here. Here, you see. Then you go up by four, see lantern on top. And now this time, after you put the sea lantern on top, you go out by two. And you're going up by, I think it's nine. So let me just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. Nope, I think it's ten. Or is it eleven? Let me double check. One, two, right, so you go out by two. Don't count this. Yeah, you can count this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
it's 11. Well, 10 going up, 2 across, 10 up. Okay. <laughs> you see Lantern on the outside, and once again, you take it to the top of the boat deck. It's all trial and, er trial and error, folks. So, if you're swearing or shouting at the screen, saying, oh, you're doing it wrong, Normandy Junction. I have to do it all over again. I am sorry. <sighs> I'm only one man. Right, so now on to the last three frames now. So this is the best way I can do these videos now into small sections, because as you can see here, each part is going to get more complicated, especially as we hit the bow and the stern. Because the stern just sort of just cuts off straight away before the rudder, and it curves outward for the poop deck. Right, so let's get on with this. That's 18. So let's pull this one out here. There we go. Once again, it's 11. There we go. And now instead of five, it's a four. One, two, three, four. And then we do three lots of three. Sorry, five lots of three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, join it up from the center. So I remind you, this is frame 72. And now we do three lots of two. One, sorry, one, two, Three. Move the center one. And join it up. Like I say, I'm only building one side. Like I say, I won't be building the other side because it's just too long. But you just need to repeat this whole process from also once you've done the bow, you got to the same section on the stern, because I say it's the exact same shape, but then you have to repeat it on the other side. Which I've done with the Titanic here. Okay? So, right, so 72, so after that it's the 4 4 3 3 4. The football formation. <laughs> 2 3 4. 2 across. 1 2 3 4. And then the 3. Then the 3. And then the 4. And put your sea lantern on the outside. Okay, and after that you need to go up 3 and out 2. So that's 1 2 3. Out by two. Okay, and then up three. Then it comes to the side, you're going up by four. Two, three, four. Then you put your sea lantern on the top. Okay, this time you go up one. There we go. And then out two. Then up by nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, six seven, eight, nine. And put your sea lantern on the outside. Okay, but this time, what you need to do next is you need to go out by two. One, two. Okay, so and then you go make your way straight to the top of the boat deck. So it's all flushed and lined up nicely. There we go, and then just out when you get to there. Out by two, and up to the top go right two frames to go come on all right here we go frame number 73 check the time again right out by 18 and then across by 11 so this is frame number 73 there we go and then you do wait one second another four one two three four then five lots of three definitely gonna need a drink afterwards <laughs> it's going really dry Ooh, excuse me so that's five lots of three okay and then three lots of two get your sea lantern replace the inner one and join it up from the center Go back again. There we go. Okay, so two out again. One, two, three, four. Two again. One, two, three, four. Two again. 
One, two, three. Two again. One, two, three. Two again. One, two. One, two, three, four. Sea lantern on the outside. So it's the four, four, three, three, four. There we go. Right. So after that section, you need to go up by three. Two, three. Out to the right by two. And then up three. Come from the side. And it's four. And a sea lantern at the top there. Okay. So the next bit now, we need to go up by two. And then we're going out by two. And then we're going up by eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put your sea lantern on the outside. Now you need to go up by one and out by two. One, two, there you go. So it's all flush and level now. And once go again to the top of the boat deck. Okay. Out by two, and then up to the top. Which I'll just replace now with two sea lanterns. There we go. Okay, final frame for this part. Okay, so on to frame number 74, the last of the video. Let's hope it goes well. So, once again, we're going out by 18. Oh. Okay, so that's 18. Then it's 11 again. Okay, and then it is a four. One, two, three, four. And then five lots of three. One, two, 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 three. Join up from the center. There we go. And then three lots of two. One, two, three. Place the inner one with a sea lantern and join up from the center with your smooth stone. Or any block you like. There we go. Joined. Now we need to do the four, four, three, three, four again. So that's a two. Move the inner. One, two, three, four. And it's a four. Let's do two there. Delete that one. Then it's a three. And then another three. And then it's a final four. Sea lantern on the outside of the hole. Okay. And then after that, you need to go up by three and out by two. So that's one, two, three. One, two. Okay. And then the next stage, it is after you've gone up by three and out by two, it's up by another three. Then a four. But it goes here. Two, three, four. Sea lantern on the top. Okay, then we're going up by three and out by two. So it's one, two, three, one, two. And then we go up by seven. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven. So we're flush. Sea lantern on the outside. Okay, and then we're going up by two and out by two. So give me one second. So we go one, two, and then out by two, and then we go straight up to the top of the boat deck. As you can see there, it's all flush as we start beginning another curve. There we go. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now, as soon as I get to the top of the boat deck, is that I'm going to do a jump cut. It'll be the usual we do, guys. So you need to do all the frames of the all the decks and place your sea lanterns as well. So like I say, if you bear with me a sec, guys. Also at the bottom, don't forget to put... Oh, well, I put in light grey concrete. Just the interior frames as well. The interior structures. Like that. And no one there. And also, as you see, it's starting to curve in. I mean, to be honest, you don't really have to do it. I just do it because it's, it's part of the ship. But obviously, when you cover the ship up, you're not going to see it. But it's just one of those things. Okay. So I'll be back in a moment, guys. I'm going to fill in all the frames and then I'll show you how to do the outside again. So I'll be back in a moment. And there you go, folks. Just do a quick catch up. That's what it looks like now from, from completing the interior decks. 
uh, from below as well. Okay, so like I say, this is now completed frames 62 to 74. And we are getting there slowly but surely, as you can see over here from the Titanic. We are very nearly on the bridge. In fact, I think we actually are on the bridge. Line it up there. Okay, so what you need to do now is put the outer skin on again. I'll quickly show you how to do all that on uh, frame 70 and the inside as well. So we'll do the inside first. So all it is, is basically you just put some quartz and you just basically cover up the interior of the smooth stone. But every time you come across the sea lantern, you need grey concrete. I just put that instead of the, oh, move the smooth stone then. Just put that instead of the block of quartz. So you can do this first if you want, just go straight across. Just like that. There you go. So, and also as well, to make it a bit more like like a frame, like what you need, to, what I do, to make it a bit more smoother, get your block of quartz stairs. Okay, I'll just put that on there. And I only put one block of quartz stairs at the bottom of each section, so it's like that, you see. So, uh, well, there you go, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. I'll just finish off the quartz here. Let's bear with me. There we go. And that goes all the way to the top of the boat deck. It's this basically to give the impression of the steel frames of the ship. And you do it all the way up to the boat deck, which is there. Now the outside, as before, as we continue, is if I go from here is yellow concrete now there's another thing I need to point out to you now as soon as the ship is starting to slide inwards every time you come across a frame that is one in from the other you always look to the center of the ship even though from the bow from the stern always look to the center and go inwards it's not like say if I'm doing the yellow line here going across like that it has to, it's basically going to hit the smooth stone, basically, like that. So every time you fill it in, like it's the red section, the underwater section, the main hull, always look to the centre of the ship. That's the best way to fill it in. So I'll just complete this yellow line here. Okay, so I'll just finish off down here now. And as usual for the lower hull, I am using red crimson planks. on here. I'll just take out some lantern. There we go. So as you're working your way outwards, go to the center of the hull. Put on your crimson planks. Three. And basically you're hitting every outer section of the smooth stone. So let's go up this line here. Three. Oh, sorry about that. I've been making quite a few mistakes today, so I do apologise for that. And as you get up to the smooth stone, sorry, the sea lantern, put red concrete down, as you'll see here. So if I pull this along here, that lines up with that sea lantern, so I'm facing forward. So from this one, from there to there, and there are sections where you'll see this sea lantern just pointing out on its own, but don't worry about that. Hang on a second. Finish off here. There you go. And here as well. There you go. So it's like that. So let's just finish off this frame here, the outer shell. So we go up again after hitting the first sea lantern. More red crimson planks. Or if you want to do it in red concrete, whatever cover colour you like. I'll just save for sort of a sea lantern there. So I'll just put the red concrete on. I'll just go up to there, because so you can finish all this off later yourselves. There we go. See lantern there. That requires another red concrete block. There we go. And I just realised I made another mistake, because we are into the 
main hull here. So I use black terracotta. Actually, for this one, the one below the hull, it is grey concrete. So there you go, put it on there. And then you just work your way up. Put it there. there we go. I mean, like I say, if you want to do your own colour scheme for the ship, by all means, go straight ahead. This is just my guide in how to do it. You know. Okay, so after the yellow line, it's just three blocks up with black terracotta. Then we go back to the block of quartz, and then we just basically go all the way up to the top. Bar this sea lantern here, which we do a light grey concrete. There we go. We'll fill that all the way up to the top. And you just fill in the rest of the section like that as well. Right, oh, I'll put the grey concrete there. So that's done. And light grey concrete. Let's fill in these gaps. Let's get it done. There. Oh, two more missing. Delight end, but nothing's not completed. There we go. And like I said before, to round off, if you get your red crimson plank stairs, just place that on. Just go straight to the bottom. Look up and start filling the edges. There we go. These gaps here too. Even the up to below the concrete line. There you go. There's one more there. And one more there. I'm not really doing the main hole with the stairs because it's not really a nice colour to go with it. But for looking up from here, it looks a lot, bit more nice, a bit more smooth, streamlined. It's all we can do in Minecraft. We, we're using blocks all the time. But that is it now, guys. So like I say, if you like to use this build as a downloadable project or to be using your own YouTube videos, please feel free. However, I would appreciate if you give me a mention or a shout out or, or for my Normandy Junction channel. And always, I'd like to thank you for watching today, and I really appreciate it as well. And please bear with me. Um, oh, and also to finish on, I want—I can't decide whether to go to the finish on the bow or the stern because, like I say, the frames now are going to get more complicated, and they're not going to be the same to, as the stern and the bow. So, if I quickly go down to the stern here, quickly, I'm going very too slow. That's how big this project is. <laughs> So like I say, I'm going to leave it to you guys. If you want to make some comments on this video, if you want me to do the stern first or the bow first. Like I say, if you, I will need to know in the next couple of days. So I'll get this video loaded as soon as I can. There you go. These are the exact same frames here, which we've done in today's video. I just did, just did the stern first to catch up on time. Like I say, guys, um, I just want to say, like again, thank you for watching today. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like and be sure to subscribe for all the latest videos from the channel. And a special thank you to my current subscribers. It does mean a lot and it does help the channels grow. So like I say, just want to leave some comments in the chat on the chat, um, on the video. Just say, what would you like me to go? Would you like me to finish the bow off? Or would you like me to finish the stern off? If it was me personally choosing, I'd probably do the stern first and finish up on the bow. But, you know, I like to know what my viewers think. Okay, so until next time, guys, this is Normandy Junction. I bid you all a farewell.